Piedmont County. This is the magistrate division of the district court of the seventh judicial district of the state of Idaho. My name is Judge Eddins. This is the date and time for a, an initial appearance on an amended criminal complaint that was filed. Uh, this matter is being held via Zoom because of COVID-19 orders from the Idaho Supreme Court. This is case number CR 2220-755. Present in the Zoom meeting, I have myself. I have uh, the state's attorney, Mr. Rob Wood. I have Mr. Daybell appearing uh, with his counsel, Mr. John Pryor. Mr. Pryor, uh, does your client waive his right to be here in court and do this hearing via Zoom like we're doing today? Yes, Your Honor, we do. Mr. Wood, does the state also uh, waive that right to have the hearing here in court? Yes, Your Honor. We'll proceed with Zoom then. I appreciate everybody's cooperation. Uh, this matter came before the court yesterday. There was a motion to amend a criminal complaint that was filed by the state. And there was also an order that was signed by the, the court. And then there was an amended criminal complaint that was filed based upon that amendment are uh, doing an initial appearance or redoing an initial appearance on this same case number. Mr. Daybell, can you hear me okay? Yes. Mr. Daybell, do you read, speak, and understand the English language? I do. Mr. Daybell, have you had enough time uh, to meet with your attorney in preparation for today's hearing? Yes. Mr. Daybell, did you fill out a notification of rights form prior to the hearing today? Yes. I didn't hear you, Mr. Daybell. Can you yes, speak? I did. Sorry. Mr. Daybell, uh, do you understand all of your legal rights here today? I do. Mr. Daybell, did you also receive a copy of the motion to amend, the order to amend, as well as the amended criminal complaint that was filed yesterday here with the Fremont County Court? I did. And you had a chance to review that with your counsel, is that correct? Yes. Mr. Pryor, uh, does your client want a formal reading or can I just uh, read the actual charges informally? Judge, at this time, we will waive formal reading of the, uh, the complaint in this case, Your Honor. Thank you. I will proceed then. I'm uh, going to read the amended criminal complaint as it pertains to the counts. It was filed, like I said, on June 30th, 2020. Uh, under count one, the charge is destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence, which is a violation of Idaho Code 18-2603, a felony. It's punishable by up to five years in the state penitentiary and or up to a $10,000 fine. It alleges that the defendant, Chad Guy Daybell, on or between the 22nd day of September 2019 and the 9th day of June 2020, in the county of Fremont, state of Idaho, did willfully conceal and or did aid and abet another to willfully conceal the human remains of J.J. Vallow, knowing that said remains were to be produced, were about to be produced, used, and or discovered as evidence in a felony proceeding, inquiry and or investigation authorized by law with the intent to prevent it from being so produced, used, and or discovered. Count two is a charge of conspiracy to commit destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence, a felony under Idaho Code 18-2603 and 18-1701. It's punishable by up to five years in the state penitentiary and or up to a $10,000 fine. It alleges the defendants, Chad Guy Daybell, Lori Vallow, and or another person or persons on or about or on or between the 22nd of September 2019 and the 9th day of June 2020 in the county of Fremont State of Idaho and elsewhere did willfully and knowingly combine, conspire, confederate and agree to commit destruction, alteration or concealment of evidence in a felony proceeding, inquiry and or investigation authorized by law with the intent to prevent it from being so produced, used and or discovered to wit the human remains of J.J. Powell, which is in violation of Idaho Code Section 1826-03-181701. Overt acts in furtherance of the conspiracy to commit destruction, alteration or concealment of evidence and to affect the objects thereof, one or more of the following overt acts were committed by one or more of the subjects of the conspiracy within Fremont County or elsewhere in the state of Idaho. Number one, 
On or about November 26, 2019, Chad Guy Daybell misrepresented the nature of his relationship with Lori Vallow. While questioned by the Rexburg Police Department during a lawful investigation regarding the whereabouts of JJ Vallow. On or about November number two, on or about November 26, 2019, Chad Guy Daybell contacted Melanie Gibb via phone for the purpose of requesting and or encouraging non-cooperation with law enforcement's lawful investigation regarding the whereabouts of JJ Vallow. Number three, on or about November 26, 2019, Lori Vallow provided a false and or misleading physical location of JJ Vallow to law enforcement during a lawful investigation. Number four, on or about November 26th, 2019, Lori Vallow contacted Melanie Gibb via phone for the purpose of requesting and or encouraging non-cooperation with law enforcement's lawful investigation regarding the whereabouts of JJ Vallow. Number five, on or about November 26, 2019, Lori Vallow contacted Melanie Gibb via phone for the purpose of requesting and or encouraging Melanie Gibb to prepare, prepare and or present false evidence to law enforcement regarding the whereabouts of J.J. Vallow during a lawful investigation. Number six, on or between the dates of February 30th, 2020 and June 9th, 2020, Lori Vallow refused and or did fail to comply with the court order to produce her minor child to wit, J.J. Vallow, to the Rexburg Police Department or the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare in Madison County case number CV 3320-45. Count number three, destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence, which is a felony under Idaho law, uh, violation of Idaho Code 18-2603, it's punishable by up to five years in the state penitentiary and up to a $10,000 fine. It alleges that the defendant, Chad Guy Daybell, on or between the 9th of, day of September 2019 and the 9th day of June 2020, in the county of Fremont, state of Idaho, did willfully destroy, alter, and or conceal, and or did aid and abet another to willfully destroy, alter, and or conceal the human remains of Tylee Ryan, knowing that said remains were about to be produced, used, and or discovered as evidence in a felony proceeding, inquiry, and or investigation authorized by law, with the intent to prevent it from being so produced, used, and or discovered. Count four, conspiracy to commit dis destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence, also a felony under Idaho law, a violation of Idaho Code 182603 and 181701. It's punishable by up to five years in the state penitentiary and or up to a $10,000 fine. It alleges that the defendants, Chad Guy Daybell, Lori Vallow, and or another person or persons on or between the 9th day of September 2019 and the 9th day of June 2020 in the county of Fremont, state of Idaho, and or elsewhere did willfully and knowingly combine, conspire, confederate, and agree to commit destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence in a felony proceeding, inquiry, and or investigation authorized by law with the intent to prevent it from being so produced, used, and or discovered, to wit, the human remains of Tylee Ryan, which is in violation of Idaho Code 18, 2603 and 181701. Overt acts. In furtherance of the conspiracy to commit destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence, and to affect the objects thereof, one or more of the following overt acts were committed by one or more of the subjects of the conspiracy within Fremont County and or elsewhere. Number one, on or about September 9th, 2019, Chad Guy Daybell sent text messages to another for the purpose of disguising the destruction, alteration, and or concealment of the human remains of Tylee Ryan on his property. Number two, on or about November 26, 2019, Lori Vallow provided false information to law enforcement regarding Tylee Ryan's attendance at BYU-Idaho and or 
her current housing situation. Number three, on or between the dates of January 30th, 2020 and June 9th, 2020, Lori Valla refused and or did fail to comply with the court order to produce her minor child, Tylee Ryan, to the Rexburg Police Department or the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare in Madison County case number CV 3320-45. Mr. Daybell, all of those uh, penalties could run consecutively one after the other or they could run concurrently at the same time. Do you understand that? You're muted uh, there at the jail. If you could unmute that, please. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Daybell, do you also understand uh, all four counts, the allegations that have been brought against you? Yes. Do you have any questions about the amended criminal complaint, Mr. Pryor or Mr. Daybell? No questions at this time from either myself or Mr. Daybell, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pryor. We've gone through the rights. We've also gone through the amended criminal complaint. At this point, the court is not going to readdress bond. It will remain as currently set with the related thereto. Um, there's also a, currently a preliminary hearing that is set for August 3rd and 4th. Uh, it's my understanding that we're going to continue forward with that preliminary hearing as anticipated. Is that correct, Mr. Wood? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Pryor? At this time, Judge, that is correct. All right, we'll continue with that on the schedule. Um, is there anything else that we need to take up today, uh, Mr. Wood? No. Mr. Pryor, just so we're clear, um, your client is waiting with this amended criminal complaint to a speedy preliminary hearing, and that preliminary hearing is still going to be held on August 3rd and 4th. Is that correct? A valid waiver of his preliminary hearing within the statutory time. And at this point, Judge, uh, barring um, some, some difficulties with discovery, I anticipate a preliminary hearing on the 3rd of August to commence promptly. All right. I think that takes care of everything. Is there anything I've missed? All right, that will be uh, the end of today's initial appearance. I appreciate everybody's appearing. We will be adjourned until further order of the court and until that prelim. Thank you, Judge. Thank you.